Alright, so hang on a second. Oh, there was one more that I forgot about. Ta-da! It's, um... So what is this exactly? I completely forgot to show, show this to you. It's, um basically a, a Mac card for my old camera. It's a used item. But it was cheap. You know, um, this was $1.94. Yeah, I can't believe how how cheap it was. It was sold by the user Perfect88. Alright, so there you go. So that finally, that's actually the very, very, very last item that we have. Yes, the very last item. Okay, so, alright, um, alright, so I've got my glove, I've got Ferocious, let's go ahead and talk about my next vlog, planning on Okay, let's get going. Let's get downstairs. So I can't stop thinking about this at work. I've been thinking about this over the past few weeks now. And actually, as of last week, I haven't really thought about it quite as much anymore, which is a good thing. But it is something that I've still constantly thought about. All right, so I have my laptop right in front of me here. So I can show you some clips of things. All right. So I'm planning on eating a hawk meal. I just want to go up to a hawk and eat its prey. That's what I want to do. All right. So let me show you a video that I took of an unboxing video of when I was unboxing Ferocious. I was, I, it was like a half an hour long and I was talking about Falcon and my plans for Falcon. Take a look at this. All right, so So basically, that's the video. Um, so basically, that's what I want to do. I just want to be a companion to this hawk. So here's something you need to know. Why doesn't a hawk consider you a true friend? Well, the reason is because a hawk doesn't think of you as an owner. Not like a lovebird would, or a parrot would, or, um, you, know, uh, you know, a cockatiel. 
You know, hawks are different than these birds. They're birds of prey. They only catch things in the wild. They have no relationships towards other hawks. In fact, they're very competitive, you know, when it comes to finding food compared to other hawks. Even their own family members they're, they're competitive with. They don't have any, like, strategy to hunt together, except for Harris hawks. That would be the only exception. But for the most part, hawks work alone. They hunt alone. And they only see the falconer as a provider of food. If a hawk gets full, if, a, if a, their crop gets completely full, then they do not want to associate with the falconer anymore. They will just sit there and be lazy, or they will fly to the nearest tree branch and stay there for a few hours. Or worse, they could just fly all the way off in the distance and you'll never see it again. But yes, so people can lose hawks that way. That's why they have to control their food portions by doing what's called a trade-off, which basically means they provide a smaller meal for them so that they'll be willing to hunt next time and be willing to return to the falcon because that's the only way that they'll return to the falcon is if they're hungry and they need food. Okay? I'm going to show you a clip of one of the reasons why I want to eat a horse. Okay? Take a look at this this Animorphs clip. Yes, I, I, I sort of know this show from the 90s, and this is a very interesting show. Basically, they turn into a bunch of animals. It's like a group of middle school students that turn into a bunch of animals. Tobias actually turns into a red-tailed hawk, but in the TV series, in the book, in the book he turns into a red-tailed hawk, but in the TV series, he changes into a Harris hawk. But take a look at this clip of one of the alien guys who's in disguise feeding a rat to Tobias. Take a look. Okay, stop! Rewind to this part right here. Take a look. This guy has his hand out in front of this hawk. Take a guess to what he's doing. You're probably not going to believe this when I tell you. But he's actually getting the hawk to regurgitate its meal for this guy. He's actually begging for this hawk to feed him. Yes, it's true. Now, he is an alien from another planet. He's one of the Yurks. So this was kind of a setup to kind of draw people in and kind of understand that this guy's weird. But let me tell you something. A hawk will never try to regurgitate its food for a human. Only for its mate. A hawk can't, like, become mates with a human. It's just not possible. They can only mate with another hawk of the same species. Some birds will crossbreed with other species. Hawks don't do that. They don't make that mistake. They don't make the mistake when they find prey that looks like the same color as them. Like a, a red-tailed hawk wouldn't mate with a house sparrow, even though a house sparrow looks almost exactly like a red-tailed hawk, ex except for um, the, the, the sparrow's straight beak and it's not so sharp talons. <laughs> but yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, here's another clip of Tobias 